all right here we go on the temporary setup right now while we switch houses to the supermax office we're going to be doing five golds that can't sprint versus five golds that can't lean so we're going to see what's more important leaning or sprinting in siege because i would say both are pretty much crucial to like a good player's movement right so removing that we're going to see which is more important to be honest bro i'm thinking that people who can't sprint might be at kind of an advantage here because i think a lot of especially gold players always be sprinting into scenarios that they should not be the amount of times i see like a gold player and like a 1v3 that they could easily win but they just full sprint at somebody for no reason so we'll see i think i think maybe the can't sprint people might get this one the can't lean is going to be significant i mean leaning is i would say one of the most important things in siege and a lot of people's aim is dependent on the leaning as well so we'll see how that goes all right here we go flair's going to be taking a little bit of damage here on the can't sprint team but he's going to be taking advantage of those leans unlike nomad who's going to be outside of the big window imagine trying to peek big window and not being able to lean this gotta be just like the most awkward thing to do especially when you're up against a mirror window as well i mean that's just going to be rough but actually we're going to see roasted pick up the first kill of the game here for the can't lean team R rory going to pick up another one for himself as well so 3v3 now pretty even so far to be honest but nomad's going to try to change that as he hops in through the big window and takes out doc so it's going to be a 3v2 now for the can't lean players but roasted with another one two more actually to clutch out the round a good 3k there on the yana and well the can't lean team actually takes the first round which is i don't know that's surprising to me i'm, I'm really thinking the can't sprint team wins this all right the can't lean team sprinting their way through the map trying to clear out master side right now we'll see roasted using his iana clones to try to drone out master and he's going to be trying to push in through trophy here but he's gonna to have to swing these attic head holes and we do see warden just inside of attic here holding those holes as well as maestro actually all the way back inside of attic and he's gonna be taking advantage of those leans to try to get a better angle there into master roasted though gonna push up into the attic holes now back into master as he realizes that's probably not a good position impact grenade gonna come out from the maestro but he'll miss and impact himself nice blunder there looks like maestro is possibly gonna try to prone away but he stands up too quickly and rory will take him out but Ferda will refrag and so will vx on the smoke getting another kill into rosa now so the can't lean players are dropping like flies right now while warden picks up another one onto rory so the sophia goes down it's all up to nomad and sledge who are completely far apart from each other and we actually see Ferda right now downstairs by aj he might be able to get this frag minute and 15 seconds left so the attack does have time but Ferda is still downstairs completely distracting aj right now but a grenade from below from aj will take out flare we really need to see Ferda refrag here for the can't sprint team Uh, we finally will see it as soon as that switch away of course further will take down aj so it's all up to too short on the nomad inside of trophy he's gonna be doing his best to peek onto this attic head hole but well Xerox gonna be trying to quick peek this just rubbing in the face of too short that he can't lean right now now we just wait 30 seconds left on the clock too short no utility for the most part just gonna be continuing to peak this angle until someone kills him we're gonna see vx push up close with the shotgun but xerox will be the one to take him out with the peak from the attic head holes on one hp as well wow i always find it really funny when we're doing these videos where they can't lean i always find it really funny when they're walking around because everybody looks like a gold player here but <laughs> i guess they actually are all gold as well but it doesn't help that they also can't lean but it won't matter for roasted he's gonna take down the Aruni, who for some reason is just sitting in the middle of sight right now. VX on this mirror window with the Maestro going to be trying to refrag. He is using those leans to his advantage right now. And the melee hole that Roasted did not see will be the death of him. Rory, though, going to refrag upstairs. He will be taking out Flare. So Warden goes down now. And we're going to see Too Short trying to walk down the main stairs here. Pick up that diffuser that was dropped from Roasted. And AJ finally coming back from being AFK actually we see rory all the way 
downstairs on pillar and he's actually gonna cluster charge the single wall that is insane that's actually crazy that he got that cluster charge off and no one killed him there but vx using his maestro cams will spot him out and oh i thought the maestro cam killed him but it actually is going to be ferda who is back in bunker right now aj opening up that front hatch he's actually going to drop onto the launching machine and try to push up with his teammate but once again we have vx on this mirror window using those leans to his advantage and he's going to be just peeking that window continuously and well he'll get, grab that kill onto aj we're gonna see capital sprint into the site now and these sprints almost getting him killed this is what i told you guys some sometimes gold players just start sprinting at people for no reason but capital is in sight so he's going to be using those sprints to his advantage trying to maneuver around the map right now further though here's the capital is going to be watching for that but well what what, what do you know Capital sprinted into the maestro and maestro took him out so it's going to be all left to too short now and this is exactly what i was talking about guys we're seeing it right now the can sprint team is starting to pull off with the wins here but as i say that too short grabs a kill onto vx so it's going to be a 1v1 situation here too short's got the hp advantage as well eight seconds left on the clock diffuser in hand so he could plant but he's gonna have to stick if he does he's gonna sprint forwards the missed shots from Berta. somehow he's staying alive too short's forced to get off the plant with zero seconds on the clock and ladies and gentlemen the can't sprint players will grab another round as i expected all right further going to be droning out armory right now as we see roasted just pushing up into armory herself trying to get this kill onto the ying who's playing in there but the candelas will come out and well too bad he's not warden the soulless gadget going to do nothing to stop the blindness but Ferda somehow is going to die but luckily Sirox is there to refrag as we see a push up the main stairs from the cannot sprint team grenades come out as the clash is going to bounce the grenade off of the shield and roll back sledge will blow himself up now that is just that is just unfortunate here an explosion through the wall will allow Rory to take out Xerox on the main stairs now, and it's all left to Flare, who is downstairs right now, trying to nade from below, and they're going to trade. The mute goes down, but it won't be enough as there are still two more no lean players. We're all tied up now. This is actually crazy. This is a, this is actually a lot closer than I thought, to be honest. I definitely thought like the nose, the can't sprint people would just completely wipe them. Let's see what we got this round. Ferda with the super shorty on on the Brava. Where is he going with this? Yo, it must be so AIDS leaving spawn as an attacker on the can't sprint team. You just have to slowly walk out of spawn all the way to the building. That's that you actually lose so much time just off like the fact that you can't sprint. But Xerox does not care as he's gonna be wasting no time getting a kill onto the rook who overextends on bunker hall. He'll get taken out now syndrome going to be or whatever the hell his name is i apologize going to be opening up the pillar wall trying to get a view onto the mirror who's playing back there but rory going to rotate now to try to help the clash as we do see some form of a push here on the freezer stairs Ferda trying to push the back stairs right now we see kind of a push from all angles Rosa though going to grab a kill before he gets shut down by Xerox in the back but Xerox himself will get shot down by the c4 from Rory so a lot of trades going back and forth here but things will be tied up to a 3v3 and Xerox saying in the chat that he can't run he can't run from nades or c4s or anything and that looks like it just got him killed no leaning does not matter to too short as he'll grab the kill to Ferda but VX instantly refrags so a 2v2 situation and the defense does have a clash and they've got the diffuser now if they do have any of these banshees set up it's going to be a pain in the ass for our can't sprint players to win this not to mention they have to cross this hallway not being able to sprint so they basically have to take the gunfight on the malusi and then i'm not even sure how they'll kill the clash because they can't sprint at clash they'll never be able to catch clash Because of that, we're going to see VX try to rotate now, probably going out towards that bunker door. They do have about a minute, so they've got plenty of time to try and rotate and make a play here. But that was not the play. Flair will just walk in into a Banshee looking the wrong way without his teammate. That was a disastrous move, but VX will try to rotate now. 
and he can't sprint so he's gonna opt to crouch instead i guess he's going for the full silent mode but only 30 seconds left so really doesn't have the time for it aj is still holding down the diffuser as well so it's gonna be very difficult if we see vx winning this the swing from pillar too short will grab another kill and honestly despite the no leans too short is grabbing tons of kills here it's actually funny i used to give out a tip to new players and like gold players what i would say is unbind your sprint key that way you're not constantly sprinting into like a gunfight that you shouldn't be we've even seen it this game like i pointed it out earlier we saw someone run into a gunfight a couple times just in one round so that's why i was totally expecting the can't sprint players to win here i feel like once you like kind of slow down a little bit and you kind of think about what you do and not just sprint it into everything you, you you start to play like so much better all right here we go the attack doing the uh walk of shame to the building right now honestly spawn peaks for the can't lean players would probably be insane considering the attack cannot sprint away from any of the spawn peaks to get to cover they have to slowly walk in view all right, so we're going to see the clash again. I thought they were running a gentleman's agreement for no shields, and then AJ started running a clash, so I guess that's over now. <laughs> VX going to be trying to air jab the clash off, stopping him from walking any further, but that deployable shield actually is pretty good. It's able to defend against if he gets blocked out by that air jab, but... They're going to nade the shield off and Ferda nading himself, I swear. I'm not sure if it was Ferda who naded himself earlier, but we've seen two people nade themselves this match so far. But anyways, we're going to see Xerox walk into small tower and take out another player. But Roasted trying to take out multiple players here, walks into small tower. He gets one, but he's going to get taken out by Xerox. Now it's a 3v2, but the attack is really lit. Xerox is one HP. And the line is also extremely lit as well. So one or two good shots here will take them out. But AJ goes for the knife instead for some reason. And he's going to get taken out for that. Too short now doing his best to defend against two, three different angles. He doesn't know but one's behind him right now. And oh my God, Flair almost whiffing this and dying. But he's able to get the shot out. And now we're going OT. Three to three. All right, here we go with the walk of shame again as we see the attackers slowly make their way towards the building once again. And actually, I'm curious, can you even do this vault? I don't think you can even do this because you can't sprint. You can't. So all the attackers instead are going to have to repel up to the master balcony. So much for saving yourself that little bit of time sprinting from the van to the balcony. But actually, we're going to see Ferda doing a pretty smart play here. He may not be able to sprint, but he does have access to a Maru, and he's gonna use that to go straight into Armory, but Rory is sitting here with the shotgun close. He can't lean to get the better angle onto exactly where Ferda is, but he does have the shotgun in place, so all Ferda needs to do is walk out, and he's gonna get pumped, but here it is. The shots to the wall comes out, and we're gonna see Ferda go down below half HP now as Mira picks up a good, or Goyo picks up a good kill onto Nomad. I'm not even really sure from where, but Ferd is still trying to make this push into Armory. He will grab that kill onto the Goyo refragging now as AJ also goes down. Ferd going to completely pull out from the Armory side now, helping his team rotate over over to the west side right now. I think they're trying to floor bang the players through the floor with the Lion. I'm not really sure what they're all doing here, but a bottom white push seems to be what they're going for. As Flair walks in, this Banshee is going to slow him down and too short once again at the top of the white stairs, able to stop this. And those Goyos proving to be very effective in the C4 as well, taking out two players from the can't sprint team as they just cannot sprint away from the C4s. It's almost a guaranteed death for them. Ferda though will refrag, taking out Roasted, but Rory with a great shot onto Ferda, instantly refragging. I'll, I'll say this, the refrags in this game are insane. I feel like I'm watching Pro League. Absolutely insane. All right, Xerox is the last remaining player for the can't sprint team here. We'll see if he's able to clutch this 1v2 out. He's going to get the first kill on Rory, but he needs one more. And two, shot, two shorts going to shoot those Goyo traps. That's going to slow his entry. But fortunately, he does have these ace charges that he can use to try to get into Attic. Although two short realizes what's going on. And he's going to rotate into kids to try to watch that Attic rotate. And this Goyo is still stopping xerox from moving in through trophy as that finally clears up 25 seconds left on the clock we'll see who's going to win this 
another goyo gets shot out so Sirox will not be able to go by big window but honestly that's probably a good thing is that just tells Sirox that Malusi is not on big window too short though still sitting in the back of kids and Sirox doesn't know it, but he could just go prone he could just go prone and shoot too short underneath the floor but he won't and instead Sirox goes down as two short swings behind the bed and honestly you got to check behind there even if you don't hear him you got to check there so we're gonna have the can't lean team now up one point on match point we'll see if they're able to take this round or if the can't sprint team is going to come back once again this game's been like pretty close been extremely back and forth like in terms of like the actual rounds like the actual frags in the rounds like i feel like people are refragging constantly and then also the round count itself is going back and forth so it's been a pretty good game so far all right the can't lean team now on attack so they're going to be able to easily sprint to the building saving those seconds that the can't sprint team lost but hold on an amara rush straight into the game's window will take out flare before the thorn trap of all things immediately refrags guys what did i tell you guys about refragging this game even the thorn trap refragged i mean this is truly crazy rory on the top of white stairs and now this is actually crazy we're gonna see him trying to hack those capkin traps there and that could be really bad for the defense but too short getting a kill on the vx so that is going to be bad for the defense now as the can't sprint players go down to only three players left xerox trying to make a stand here outside by trophy as we're gonna see uh believe it's rory push outside of the master balk though but too short gonna grab another kill as we're gonna see what is this gridlock throwing in some gridlock traps right now and hopefully he's able to actually push in here and try to get some frags as we do see i don't think anyone inside of kids right now so it should be completely free for him to walk in kids all of the defense is pretty much all the way back in trophy side aj pushing up to the white stairs and we're definitely going to see a big window white take here as well gridlock is already planting inside of sight a minute and 30 seconds left the bomb is certainly going to go down here and now finca can watch from below gridlock traps go out this is going to be an absolute nightmare for the can't sprint team stand still now not much is happening finally though gridlock will get a kill into Xerox before thorn refrags and rory getting the third kill immediately so looks like the can't lean team will actually win map number one i honestly did not expect that we'll see what happens in the other maps maybe it's a map thing we'll switch sides as well and kind of mess with that but i was fully expecting the can't sprint team to win here